Have you ever received an email from Google telling you there is an indexing issue with a page on your site? You're not alone, we've all been there. And it's frustrating to say the least. After all, we pour our hearts and souls into creating valuable content and we want Google to index it so it can be discovered by as many people as possible. But when we get these warnings, it can feel like we've hit a brick wall. The worst part is that it's not always clear why this happened. Some possible causes include technical reasons, lack of crawl budget, pages excluded by design, poor website structure or Google simply saving resources. But fear not as we have good news for you. In this video we'll show solutions to help your content get the attention it deserves and solve these indexing issues. The first problem we will address is the discovered not indexed status. This happens when Google knows a page exists but hasn't crawled it yet so it's not indexed. To help Google crawl it, make sure the page is in the XML sitemap. WordPress users can use an SEO plugin that automatically updates the XML sitemap when new pages are published to help with this. Sometimes you can create a temporary sitemap to help Google index the page quickly. Next, check your server to see if it is handling Google crawlers without getting overloaded. You can do this on Google Search Console's crawling stats or crawl logs on your hosting server. You also might need to optimize the crawl budget if your website is big and has, for example, thousands of pages. To do this, avoid redirects and broken internal links, redirect chains on the site and follow other best practices. If you're enjoying this video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. The next issue is when Google crawls a page but decides to not index it. To fix this, you can create more internal links pointing to this page and improve the content. This improvement can be simply adding more words to the page to make sure it's not considered thin content, but it can also require you to change the content to match the search intent of the query. So you will have to check Google and the top ranking pages to see which option is better for each case. Another possibility is if the page has near duplicate content. Check if your site has cannibalization issues or multiple pages addressing the same topic making Google think it's the same content. Structured data mismatch can also be a reason for this issue. For example, this can happen on e-commerce websites when there are changes in product availability. At last, it can also be a case of a false positive warning in Google Search Console or just paginated URLs. Blocked by robots.txt is one of the easier indexing issues to fix if you want a page to be indexed by Google. You just need to find the rules causing the block in the robots.txt file and remove them. When you are done editing the file, make sure Google can crawl the URL by using the URL inspection tool in Google Search Console. On the contrary, when Google indexes a page you blocked with robots.txt, if you want to prevent the indexing of that page, you have several options, including implementing a canonical URL, removing internal links to the page, password protected, delete the page, or simply adding a no index tag. This last option is highly effective and what we recommend in most cases as the no index tag will make Google drop the page from the search index whether other pages link to it or not. Alternate page with proper canonical tag is a Google Search Console indexing status when Google recognizes a page as duplicate and accepts the canonical set by the user. This can be a problem if you set a canonical in an important page preventing it from ranking on Google. In this case, you must replace the current canonical with a self-referencing canonical and request Google to crawl the page using the inspect URL on Google Search Console. This should solve the problem and allow the page to be indexed. Another indexing issue happens when Google attributes a canonical to a page that previously didn't have one. To fix this and allow the page to be indexed, add a self-referencing canonical and check if there are cannibalization issues or if this page has thin content. And last but not least, try adding more internal links to this page you want to be indexed. When Google ignores the canonical set by the site, there are two approaches. The first is when they ignore a self-referencing canonical. In this situation, you should add more content to the page. This should help avoid them considering your preferred canonical URL as thin content. The other is if Google simply picks a different canonical URL. When this happens, remove internal links pointing to the page you don't want Google to consider canonical. This will help signal that this page is less important. Then make sure you only include canonical URLs in the XML sitemap 
And finally, make sure you don't have a canonical loop or canonical chain causing this issue. Most times there won't be a problem when you see excluded by no index tag in Google Search Console because these were set intentionally. However, if you see these on a page you want to be indexed, you must ensure that no index tag is removed. For example, this can happen when a WordPress site is under development, but someone forgets to uncheck the discourage search engines from indexing this site box when the work is done. In this situation, just uncheck this option and request Google to index the pages on your site. Another possible cause can be a plugin adding no index tags to pages. Check your SEO plugin settings to remove those tags and solve the problem. And this is how you fix the most common indexing issues reported by Google Search Console. Remember to stay vigilant and keep your site well structured to ensure it gets the attention it deserves. You can now watch this video here to learn more about SEO testing and how we help you grow traffic through testing and experimentation. Thanks for watching.